So far, we have just trained our chatbot with simple uh, array that contains only a few questions and answers. But of course, if you want a sophisticated chatbot, you need to kind of fill this array with a conversation that you want to train your chatbot with. Because if this is too small, if this uh, array is too small, then the chatbot is going to be just a very, very simple chatbot and it's going to be just a useless chatbot. It's better to kind of fill this array with the conversation that you want the user to have with your chatbot. And it depends, there is no rule for this, it depends upon the goal of your chatbot. For example, if your goal is just to answer a few questions, you can add, add the answer, uh, the question and the answer. If your goal is to provide the user with uh, a answers on a specific topic, of course, you need to get and be more specific. For example, maybe you want to answer scientific uh, questions, so then you need to add the answer, the questions and the answers here. So it depends upon what you want to do with your chatbot. But as I told you, you need to fill this um, array with something meaningful, something that is going to uh, kind of help you achieve your goal. Aside from that, it's very important to uh, set a default answer because the, your chatbot will not always find a, uh, the answer that the user is asking for. Therefore, it's important to set a uh, kind of a default answer. So the, if, if the chatbot doesn't find a good or appropriate uh, response, then the chatbot will immediately return that specific and default, let's say default, uh, answer. So how can we set a default answer if the, the chatbot uh, was not able to get a, uh, the appropriate response, then how can we do that? How can we uh, let the chatbot return a default answer or default response? Well, we can do that here by passing an object here instead of passing, instead of passing just an array with a string, we can add this, this um, logic in an object and then we need first we need to say that this import underscore path import underscore path and then is the import path is going to be the best match but but we want we want a default response so we want we want the chat uh, bot to keep just to keep um, answering uh, the questions and keep just interacting with the user according to the data that we have trained uh, our chatbot uh, our chatbot with but we also want a default default response so we can here say default default underscore response so what is the default response again the default response depends uh, depends on what uh, what your goal is so for example if your goal is to answer maybe uh, scientific questions or give uh, an answer to a specific topic, then here the default response could be, I don't know what you mean, or I don't have an answer yet, or something like that. Let's say, I, sorry, I don't have an answer. Sorry, I don't, I don't have an answer. And it's also important to pass a new here, a new key and value that is going to kind of determine when when to send this default response because we don't always want to send this default response. The default response should be the last, our last choice. If the user just, if the chatbot is just unable to, to send something, then this is going to be the default and just this is just going to be our last choice. This is just going to be the chatbot's last choice. But uh, what criteria should we set uh, in order to, to, uh, to return this default? Well, we can use what's called maximum, maximum similarity, maximum similarity threshold. So this maximum similarity threshold is just going to determine when when to return this default uh, answer or default response. Well, this maximum similarity threshold is just a number 
that will determine when to return that def that uh, default uh, response. So it can be from zero to uh, to one. And let's say the default, by the way, the default is 95. And if you say, for example, 0.9 then it means that, and this number means that the chatbot is just gonna keep searching for a statement to return or a response to return until a statement with a similarity of 0.9 or found or if the chatbot is exhausted. So it's gonna, it's just gonna uh, do its, be its, its best. So this number means that the chatbot is just gonna try to get the best uh, possible answer from this, uh, from this uh, array and return it to the user with a similarity with a maximum similarity. If that if the similarity is less, then it's ju it's just gonna stop searching and it's gonna return the default the default uh, response. So again, it's just gonna keep searching. It's gonna just keep searching for a response until a statement with a similarity greater than or equal 0.9 is found. Let me now save and run our script and show you what's going to happen. So if you run your script, and here if you just type a um, uh, type something, let's say hi one more time, it's just going to return hi there. But if you type something that the chat couldn't recognize, for example, just a silly string that doesn't exist in our uh, data, then if you hit enter, guess what? it's going to return, sorry, I don't have an answer. 